So this isn't about t- tonight. It's about Boom, and we're live. Welcome, <laughs> all you lords and ladies of fate. In this stream, we play all manner of tabletop RPGs for your entertainment. That's right, your entertainment. This is the only tabletop Twitch stream that allows you to control the destinies of our players. Earn fate chips just by watching, also by following, hosting, or subscribing with those sweet, sweet prime subs. Spend those fate chips and buy items or heal your favorite players, make them say or do silly things, even force them into random encounters that the DM will definitely uh, uh, give you right away. Uh, Tonight, we are playing Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, set in the world of Adenia, a place where diametrically opposed factions are vying for all control of magic in the world. Hi, how y'all doing? what's, what's, What's going on, my wonderful players? How are we all doing today? No. Ah, terrible. terrible. I don't know what? Feeling a little less gurry today than normal. Yeah, yeah. Gurr doesn't gurry. have his mouth in, but that's fine. Now it means I can understand you. I can understand you. <laughs> he can, and he can drink without a straw. Oh no. Um. So off screen, off off stream. Um. One of these mimics happened to lash out at the throat of a one Holly Hera. Uh, oh, no, my throat. giving her a disadvantage to speak. So, yeah. I was going to say uh, uh, she tried to uh, transmorph into a horse and rolled on that one. <laughs> and it only worked oh, on her no. voice. It only worked on her voice. Now her into voice a raven is And horse. I rolled a nat 20 and I kicked a lot of ass. That's what happened. Yeah. Um, so Jesse, do you want to tell, do you want to tell the world why you sound like, uh, you, you just spent four days in front of the slot machines? So like the real reason why, or the, sure, the thing yeah. that you just said that the mimic yeah. thing, the real reason I went to, I went to watch a football game and I yelled a lot and I think I broke a vocal quarter, four of them, four of them. Oh, baby. All right, Matt Skiba. Oh, wait, <laughs> what football game did you go to? Um, the Ravens game, Joshua. Ravens versus the Colts on Monday. Oh, uh, who won? The Ravens in overtime. <laughs> yeah, just because Why? Jesse was yelling. We're the score, true. the score I, was like twenty-five nine uh, in favor of the Colts going into the fourth quarter. <laughs> um, <laughs> so but Lamar Jackson left in the in the third. We were down by a lot, and then I <laughs> saved the day. I I saved the day. I'm so proud of you. Why MVP does all American right here, sports sound more like fantasy than actual fantasy? Like because what? we have to find some way to have joy over here. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> like, we don't have health care. We have football. At least yeah, our, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say at least our fans are called hooligans. True. And that Baltimore is basically the, is basically the Gotham of all cities. <laughs> and, <laughs> The Ravens are very goth. What? <clears throat> so it's um, the Ravens are all Batman? No, I was going to say the Ravens really sell that point. Like our football team is the Ravens and Edgar Allan Poe. And all of this is very goth. Gotham is very dark. Oh, I don't even know what our local football team is called. That's um, because it's called soccer. That's because it's Just soccer. Or, or it's, it's, oh, no, 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 no. Fuck no no, no, you guys just, like, your football is just pussy rugby. Like, you guys just play rugby. <laughs> That's like, you're I shit accurate. Of, like, armor, and I'm like, what? I agree with that. Accurate. He has a helmet to rugby. That's but like the entire who <laughs> understands the rules to rugby, though? I mean, Jesus. I mean, that's it's like cricket. The rules. Who understands the rules to cricket? Look, I don't look. Uh, people already you don't, don't like baseball rugby. because it ca- it takes like four cricket. hours to play this game. Nobody wants to play a game that literally takes seven days to play. Okay, it's just ridiculous. Calm down. I think the rules of rugby say, are. American... It's like, go ahead, Gert. I was gonna say the. Uh... <laughs> American women's football is uh, much like rugby in the sense they give those women poor no padding at all. 
Absolutely like not. They, they yeah. go out there and perform just like the guys do. They call it yeah, lingerie but... football. So, I mean... Kudos to those ladies. It'd be great <laughs> if they were doing that because they actually cared about the sport and not for sexist reasons. Right. But, right. but this... This yeah. is America, baby. <laughs> We're here to suck it all the ways we can. I want to see big steroided <laughs> dudes wearing lingerie slamming into each other. The PCP Honestly. League, I'm telling you, it'd be perfect. Yeah. I'm into that. Load them all I'm, in the I'd PCP. Like as well. I would okay. join that league. Wait, no, no. Pitch, pitch idea. Really buff dudes playing rugby, but wow. in maid outfits. I dig this, except I think each team should have its own theme. This is just anime oh. with extra steps, if you ask oh, me. No. This is literally oh, just no. anime with extra steps. <laughs> it really is. Cat maids versus bunny maids. Oh, Erm Slayer. So <laughs> I've got your, I've got Erm uh, Slayer's uh, XP drop for Gur, XP redemption for Quentin, who's already passed maximum, by the way. You were just giving him bonuses for next time. Um, and was- your your redemption for the object, positive shit for, uh, for, for Gray. And Please oh boy, that, do I, this is going to be one of those, be careful what you wish for moments, don't be because little. I am Come literally on. going to give you what has been asked for and nothing more. <laughs> Positive <laughs> shit. So it's going to be a pile of dookie that's got some disease in it. God well, damn it. Get out of my fucking bitch. head. Get out of my head. It's positive with what? Erm, you son of a bitch. See, it's when you feelings. said positive shit, I was thinking of like a t- pile of like shit, but like it has like passive aggressive positive little sticky notes in it. It's in the shape <laughs> of a thumbs up. No, it's what it is, out. what it actually is, it's some so guy. Doing great, dude. It's some guy yeah, with yeah, his back to you. Yeah, it's just a guy with his back to you, and he's taking a huge dump, and halfway through, he turns back and goes, Hey, good job, man. <laughs> I'm into that. Yeah, there, I'm there. I was, can I have that? I'll have <laughs> that. He comes over, gives you a little back massage. <laughs> All yeah. right. Yeah, buddy. So I'm going to make this Happy super, Disney. super, super easy for everybody here. Um, oh last week, the question for Fate Chips. Last week, what monster did the party start fighting? And oh, here's I a know. hint. If you don't remember or you weren't here, just look at the screen and tell me what you see. I see a lot of tongue. I see a suspicious symbol in the middle of the floor. Mm-hmm. It's a lick of tongue. I see, I see someone in kiss makeup. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so while while the um while the fans at home are cramming their brains and trying to do the extra math, figure out what that is. Uh, do you mean arm? Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> who wants to regale us in the wonderful uh-huh. recap? We, we, we can we can make it a, a joint effort if you want. Who who wants to start? I have one thing to say. Okay. We went to the tower, and then we went in the tower. I Stupid. mean. You could say, I mean, you know, you know, bugbears ran into towers and bad things started happening. And then yeah. Q sat in the chair. And then the chair bit him. It was a very, it, it, first and foremost, the chair tongue punched the park box for no damage. <laughs> um, I, I would just like to point that out first off. Uh, um, emotional damage sorry. count. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of emotional damage, uh, before <laughs> you even got to the tower... Uh, th- there was some really great exposition. I mean, you you all had some some wonderful conversation, and we had some, uh, in my opinion, some really good character growth for our, our good buddy Quentin. He opened up a little oh. bit, just a crack, just a little bit, just a uh, just you know, parting just, parting just the a, kimono, just a butt crack, if you will, mm. just a butt crack for the proctologist. Dungeon will. Daddy was such a softy. Oh. In, in, in my stuff. in my older age, as I get older, I just become more of a little mush ball for for sad stuff. Dude, a commercial will get me tearing up nowadays. It's very, very sad. The commercial or it, it depends. If the commercial's really sad, then yeah. Yeah. Me too, man. 
Mm-hmm. I cried like twice today. All right. Well, uh, that was a pretty good recap. Y'all uh, uh, hitched a ride towards the forest. You got uh, into the forest and found the tower. Uh, you all started arguing as to what you should do. Huge ass made an appearance. Uh, he didn't really make an appearance, but you all heard his disembodied voice kind of challenging you all to come into his tower. Um, Sexy. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, you then argued as to whether you should try to find another <laughs> entrance while you were arguing. Uh, Gur did use his sneaky bugbearness to sneak into the tower unnoticed. Um, and then everyone just kind of gave chase and followed uh, followed suit. Uh, you all uh, started looking around and immediately uh, Quentin sat down on a mimic and that started our combat. Which we are smack dab in the middle of. Let's kill him. Alrighty here. Let's see which one of these guys. Okay, so the mimic that's right here next to good old boy uh, Quentin is going to be the red mimic. There's one that's like running for the door. What's that all about? One. What, there's one running for the door? Oh, the orange one? Did he get blasted? He got blasted back. By you, I believe. Yeah, yeah me. I didn't know he went that way. Oh, yeah. I did thunderclap. Uh, so the um, the mimic kind of opens up its chair mouth and starts to kind of come at your leg and snip at your heels. But you uh, you see it coming a mile away and kind of just like step off to the side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, that's going to bring us to Sister Nova. Oh, right. Um, okay, so last turn I stabbed the symbol on the floor and you said something might happen because of that? Um, I said you did Because you, I'm you, standing on it. Right, you're standing on it. You tried, st like, stabbing it into the ground and nothing really discernible happened. Um, it didn't, like, start glowing any more or any less. Okay, there's something I really want to try. Um, instead of, like, um, helping, I really Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a perfect chair mimic. That's wonderful. Thank you. So, for those of you who don't think Facebook tracks everything that you say and do, this was just randomly came up. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. Oh. Hi, Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg, get get your chair teeth out of my asshole, bro. Molly, Zuckerberg, Molly, Zucker babe, am I right? No. no. <laughs> they all know. We drive on the opposite side of the road. We like Zuckerberg. Everything's weird. <laughs> that man is an android. Change my mind. <laughs> I'm just it's, it's like, I don't think I could, like, love Zuckerberg, but I feel like I could, like, you know, hold his hand in public and pretend that I do, you know? Yeah, for the money. Yeah. <laughs> it's a real yeah, grime thing to the say there, too. Tavy. Yeah. A grime thing to say. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, it's my turn. Jeez. Okay. Um. <laughs> so I want to put. Okay. So like. The, okay. So in my head, I'm imagining this little glyph on the floor as like being carved into the cement, right? And they were a little dense, right? Is that true? Say it one more time. I'm sorry. I was fixing. I was fixing something in oh, OBS. Sorry. That was my fault. So like, are the okay? So, are is the light coming from little dents in the floor, like um, gaps between the tiles? Uh, roll perception. Okay. Oh. P is for perception. Okay, yeah. So you're you're looking down at this thing, and um, uh, you see the the light emanating from it. Uh, you uh, you kind of can get the feeling that this is a um, the end point for um, some sort of teleportation. Uh, 
Uh, the glyphs kind of match um, uh, some sort of uh, uh, a teleportation glyph that you might have uh, read about or seen. Um, it looks like it's the end point. So, oh, this is probably how this tower moves around the world then. Uh, with your perception, um, you can't really tell whether it's that or whether um, there is like another one of these somewhere else in the tower that's connected to it um, or what. Um, but yeah, that's the that that's the gist you get from it. What spells does Gray have? Um. He doesn't I have, know. I have quite a few. Uh, oh, hey, and Erm Slayer, thank you for that XP boost for Holly Hera. Just in case you don't know, when you buy an XP boost for one of our players on the Wednesday Adenia campaign, you put them one step closer to earning thank extra you, Erm. bonuses when they level, which is probably going to be sometime this episode. Woo. I have a you lot of said that tricks. last episode. Yeah. I have a lot of cantrips, but I only have Gray only has a few spells. Yeah. Wait, I didn't have. Oh, go ahead. Do you have anything just... like blasty? Yeah, I have some blasty stuff. Okay. Because like I'm thinking of a way effect. we could like channel magic. Because like I'm thinking about putting my sword or the tip of my blade into the cracks and casting smite to see if. Uh, if we if we push our magic into the glyph just to see what's going to happen because we're fucking around and finding out. I was about to say this is this is peak fuck around and find out if you ask me. Yeah, let's let's fuck That's around. My favorite kind let's of finding out. Let's fuck around. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm down. I'm down. I yes. mean, I'm fucking I'm fucking gray. Like, let's, let's yeah. Tear some shit up. Cool. Let's um. So sister and I was gonna put the tip of her sword into um like a crack in the or you know a, a dent in the glyph and is going to start casting smite and she is going to try and run while keeping her the tip of the blade in the glyph while casting smite so trying to so like you're cutting a pizza but like you're cutting the 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 glyph okay yeah, yeah. kind of yeah. just but like I'm running around the edge kind of like like you're that. trying to pop a top open or something like that. You're just trying to get yeah. around the edge. Okay. Like okay. Can is, open is, it. is Sister Nova wearing like full metal armor? I think so. She has plate. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty sure. I'm not sure when my turn is. Um, um it's yeah, um, it's sometime after this turn. <laughs> cool. That's so helpful. <clears throat> cool. peak, peak advice. That's what I'm here for. Thank you. We we would be nothing without your wisdom. Um, all right, so go ahead and um, roll your uh, attack. Um, I'll tell you, the, the AC for this is going to be super low because you're stabbing the floor. Okay. I forget. How do I attack? Um, click, it, on, click on the weapon it, you're using. Oh, my hair. It should I automatically see. roll it. Oh, hey, Darkest Rabbit. Uh, I see you poking around looking at the items there. If you use the exclamation point redeem followed by a space and then the item that you would like to use, uh, you absolutely can do that. If you have any questions as to what any of those items do, feel free to ask in chat and I'll gladly uh, derail the campaign and let you know. Hell yeah. Ditto. Um, all right. So yeah, you, um, you slam down, do me a favor, go ahead, roll your extra. Is it a D8 or D10 for your smite? I think it's a D8. Go ahead and roll that for me. Perfect. Okay. So you, you, um, uh, you run around this, uh, little area here and you notice that, uh, let's, uh, let's see here. I'm going to move you guys off here for just a second. Uh, you, you cast your smite around the outside of the glyph, and that energy kind of stays in there. That 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 bright smite energy just 
stays in there. Um, you don't... Oh, hello, Crystal Rights. Thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Thank um, you. I don't know who did that, but we're going to go ahead and Thank we're going to bar you from life. Now I can't click on it. There we go. We're going to go ahead and just, just get rid of you. Thank you. Perfect. All righty. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, you've kind of like channeled this energy into the glyph. Uh, you don't see any change in the, uh, the glyph in the center, but this energy around the edge is kind of just stuck in there now. Okay. Um, maybe, maybe something happens because of that. Maybe something doesn't. We'll, uh, we'll see. Uh, you still have uh, movement and bonus action. If you have anything else you'd like to do. Um, I'm going to look at, oh, wait, um, I'm gonna, can I magic missile the, um, oh yeah, shit, Quinton's on like really low health, um, I'm gonna magic missile the, um, the one that's attacking Quinton. Uh, which you, one? I love magic you, missile. you've already used your action though, unless you have something oh. that allows you to cast a spell as a bonus action. Um... I have magic initiate. I'm going to read that. Um, oh, uh, no, I do not. Um, you can put you, you can move yourself into, uh, like a better position if you'd like. Um, um so like, let's say I run around in a circle and I ended up like here. You've got oh, enough. Like, you've got enough uh, movement to move to around where the the table, that little coffee table, is. Oh, here. Okay, and then can I use lay on hands on Quinton? Uh, I. Or is that too much in one turn? Um. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna allow it. Okay, as, sorry. As the ultimate rules lawyer, I'm going to allow a wonderful lay on hands. <laughs> Just, you know, cheeky lay on hands. Um, or healing hands. Um, I can touch a creature and it causes to regain a number of hit points equal to your level, but I think it's times five. So I have a pool of 15. Correct. Um, mm -hmm. so you, Quinton, can, you, can, you can give him how, up to 15 points. How many hit points do you need, Quinton? What, to get back to full? I mean, I, oh, I guess I guess I give Quinton 15 hit points then. <laughs> All right. I'll go ahead and mark that on your sheet. You now have zero for your hands. Perfect. Wonderful. All right. Uh, go ahead and up yourself. Sure did. I hope there's a coffee on that table. Um, that table might be the only thing in this room that's not a mimic. And maybe the coffee is the mimic. Hannah, Indiana. What a dope oh, name. A teeny tiny mimic. That's, that's so cute. <laughs> Can we keep him? Can we, can we actually? <laughs> and please remember, uh, wonderful new viewers, I love seeing people popping into the chat. We, we love that here. Remember, here at the Lords and Ladies of Fate, you are just as much a part of this stream as the actual players. Please remember, you can... Um, uh, uh, it's not dollars. They're called fate chips. We don't, we don't, we don't charge money for those. You earn those just by watching. And Hey, since we got some new people in here, I'm going to just go ahead and give everybody a whole bunch of, uh, fate chips to play around with. Yeah. You get, um, yeah. follow, you get 250 right away. Mm -hmm. You get 250 just for following. Sure. Um, I don't want to push people to subscribe, but if you sub with like your free prime sub or something like that, you earn more fate chips per minute than you do if you're a non sub. So just a little thank you. Um, and we also earn prizes that way too. Mm -hmm. We give out t shirts and mugs like this. Yep. If you subscribe for three months straight, you get a t shirt. Uh, if you subscribe for six months straight, you get a wonderful etched glass. 
It's a pretty great oh. glass. Crystal Wright says PTSD it's from Mimics glass. rolled into a town where every building was made up of Mimics. <laughs> Mimic colony, oh. baby. So you've met our GM oh, no. before. <laughs> <laughs> Someone likes Mimic. Mm. All right. Uh, back to where we were going. Um, I lost my. Okay, here's my turn order. Um, so Sister Nova did that. Hey, um, uh, hurt boy, Quentin, it's your turn. Let's go ahead and front and center you. There we go. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, you're looking a little, you're looking a little, uh, healed. Who got you healed like that? Yeah, I finally got healed. (laughs) Nice because I've been kind of taking all the damage. It's great. It's wonderful. That's salty. You are, you are salty. I just healed you. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> All right. Uh, to be suspected, uh, red. Hi-ya. And ooh, that's a five. <laughs> so plus my uh, plus my whatever. It's not going to be enough. Uh, Thank you for the follow, Darkest here. Rabbit. Much appreciated. So, uh, so that's an eleven. 11 to hit. Uh, 11 to hit. 11, um, sadly, I'm sorry, does not uh, hit. Was that a, what, what, what kind of attack was that? Was that magic or was that um, a weapon? That was uh, my favorite cantrip of all time. Got it. So you, uh, you high odd. So you, uh, you reach back, you push forward with your, your eldritch energy. The green blast sails right through the little slits in the back of the chair. It was close. Just no cigar. Um, anything else you're doing? No. All righty then. We're going to go to B. Do you think B is blue or brown? Oh, blue. it's blue. B. I said blue. I don't see um, a brown one. He's going to, he's going to move forward. The blue guy here. He's going to move Orange on. Orange one is probably brown for our mom. Yep. He is going to, uh, <laughs> come on down. And uh, he's going to mess with some Sister Nova. Sister Nova's going to finally get some action. Oh, hell yeah. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, that's a no. Um, so um, I'll roll on my. Hold on. I've got to look at my critical fail table. That's right. I am the Dick GM, uh, new viewers. That does do critical fails. <laughs> Don't roll a one at my table. I have. Uh, okay. It was not great. So it turned into a plant. The uh, um <laughs> that wasn't a one, but that was on the <laughs> magic table, which we haven't seen in a while. So the uh, chair, the chair cool. mimic starts. Uh, the chair mimic starts waddling its way forward, and it hits a crack in the uh, the tile, and literally just falls flat on its um uh face. So he is actually prone. We stand. Wait, what's the chair is prone? And then it waddled away. Waddle waddle. Mm-hmm. Mm. He is he is a he is good old prone. We'll give what uh, what symbol do you think would make good for prone? Let's see, snail. There we go. the snail is prone today. So he's 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 I prone. Like, I like snail for prone. That's good stuff. We stand mm-hmm. snail prone. Hannah, it's Indiana, I love I love stuff like that. We have uh, uh, Jen Washitashi playing Gray. He's our wild magic sorcerer. He actually became a plant for a round because of his wild magic sorcery. So I love stuff like that. Uh, it's great. I was a... Uh, I was a... Uh, shit. What? what kind of plant was I? Do you guys remember uh, the... Rhododendron. Oh. Rhododendron. Oh, I was a, a, a split-leaf philodendron. Philodendron, there we go. All right, so uh, the one that I'm calling brown, yes, the orange one, he's going to move up here, and he's actually he's actually not going to do that. He's going to run over here. Oh, no, come on. He I sees... To call you he, out about your color blindness. <laughs> he, sees, he sees Gray kind of hiding over here in the corner, and he's like... <laughs> uh, I'm going to blast him. Oh, that's a hit. That is a hit. Um, he does eight points of piercing damage so he comes down and he chomps down on you with his bite uh, pierces you for eight points of damage and then you also get um, four points of acid damage 
I'm at 12 now. That's great. He rolled over a 15 for his uh, armor class, his mm-hmm. uh, attack, huh? He rolled, a, he rolled so, an 18. What a butthole. Um, uh, Darkus, if I think the, uh, I think if you just do, um, the exclamation point points will give you, um, a list of how many, um, how many points you have. For example, Matt has too many points. Mm-hmm. And we're pretty, we're pretty generous. We give a lot of them at the beginning of the stream. So if you're here right from the get go, you'll get a little boost. We ask yeah. a question about what the last, what happened during the last stream. So if you know the answer to that, you can get a little boost. We, we love giving, uh, you all ways to interact Oops. with us. Yeah, because that's how we have fun. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah, Brown did that. What can Brown do for you? Um, Holly Hera. It is uh, your turn, our wonderful uh, druid. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Swing in the mess. Um, it was the green one. The hey green now. one's the one that hey attacked now. your voice. The green one is the one that has made you a raspy fucker. Well, then we're going to cast Witch Bolt at the green one. Wait, Witch Bolt? Witch Bolt. What, yeah, which, which bolt? <laughs> which bolt? Yeah, but you're not answering my question. I'm yeah. saying which bolt. That one. <laughs> but um, you have which bolt? Hell yeah, Holly Hera. Uh, yeah, so 21, 21 blasts. Absolutely hits. No no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, cool thing about which bolt, uh, Holly Hera, just in case you did not know, um, it is a concentration spell, so if you maintain concentration on that next round... Uh, for yeah. your action, you don't even need to roll for damage. You can just roll the damage. You don't need to roll for a hit. You, roll you don't need to roll for a hit. And yep. it doesn't cost another spell slot either. Correct. Correct. Concentration. It is um, a very efficient spell. Uh, let's see which one is that. Green down here. Yeah. Get the green. Uh, okay. Kill him, Dad. You still have a movement and a bonus action if you would like. Um. I think I might. I'm going to just back up a little bit. I'm trying to move my token on the Twitch screen. That's not going to work. I'm going to back up a little <laughs> bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Um. And then for my bonus action, I'm going to scream. That's for Voice What's your AC? Is that really a scream, though? Can you that that the, scream? That's the greatest I can muster. What's your What's your AC, Aww. Raspy? Oh, I forgot about move of opportunity or whatever. Attack of um, opportunity. Hey, Bruce Gaskin, AC? what's up? Thirteen. What up, Bruce? Thirteen. You're fine then. Yep, you're 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 fine. The um the mimic kind of reaches out to hit you as you run away, uh, but he can't. We can't hear who. <laughs> you can't hear me. You can hear me. What? Can't you hear? Who can't you hear? Oh, he's obviously picking on. You can't. You can hear me. You can. Don't, d- Bruce. Don't come into the stream and start telling me there's technical. T- it's take. It's ever take away that man's fate chips. No, don't don't don't, don't don't take away his fate chips. It was a joke. It was a joke. Bruce, um, Bruce, 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 Bruce. Thanks for coming. And you um, can't hear me because of mimic attacked my vocal cords. Does this work? Yep. Did you did you fix this? <laughs> nah, shout out. <laughs> Bruce Gaskin takes 500 points from himself. Wow. Don't worry. Hey, all you new people, we don't take them away from people who don't deserve it. And you all are great. You don't deserve it. Also, you Bruce actually, is like a part of the channel, so it doesn't really count. Yeah. <laughs> actually, you all deserve, you for, for, for putting up with that, you all deserve a little bit of extra. I'll give you a little Ooh, bit of extra. Everybody but Bruce. Uh, okay. Just kidding. Love you, Bruce. Is there a um, smooth Bruce command? I don't know how to give Bruce. I don't know how to give chips. So I, I can't do it. <laughs> uh, Gray, it's your turn. Oh, is it? Um, so this guy's like breathing into my mouth right now, and it's fucking tastes great. Uh, yeah, social distancing <laughs> is not a thing for him. He's Ooh, we got a Gur. We got our the- XP for Gur. Hell yeah. Hey. Uh, just so that you all know, um, uh, Gray needs those XP boosts before the end of this stream. If you want, if yep. you want Gray to be super Man. cool, oh, he needs way. more. Just let me, just let me die. Yeah. Just let me die. <laughs> just let me. Uh, um, okay, back to your turn, please. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I've been thinking about this for like 
three other people's turns, and I <laughs> have not made a decision. <laughs> uh, God, I'm pleasant. I'm going to cast Thunder Wave. No. You like, you like Thunder. You like Thunder. Wait, I, I, you know I, what, don't you? You know what? I'm going to put this man to sleep and run away. Ready? Boom. Oh. Can I do that when he's, like, in action? Uh, so the way sleep works, the way the sleep spell works is you roll, like you roll what it tells you to roll. And that is the amount of, um, hit points that you can affect. You effectively need to bring a monster's hit points down to zero to put them to sleep. If there's anything huh? left over from one, the effect moves over to the next one. Uh, yeah, let's see. Did it, that the, well then no, I don't want to do that. That sounds stupid. Well, I'm you roll shot. five. The thing is, you roll five d eight. So you, that that's that's the number. So it's five d eight. Yeah, but these but, guys, these guys have like uh, uh, unlimited HP. We've been trying to kill one of them for like seventeen turns. Um, Darkest Rabbit. Um, God. We did not do an intro at the top, so I'll go ahead and do that now for the benefit of the new viewers here. From left to right at the bottom of your screen, we have Good Devil playing Quentin, the half elf warlock. Uh, we have Jesse playing Holly Hera, the half elf druid. That's me. Nat Mario. playing the bugbear barbarian Gur. Uh, Tavy, they are playing uh, Sister Nova, the Asimar uh, uh, paladin, uh, who Hi. may also have a little bit of uh, rogue in there somewhere, may, somewhere thrown in there. We'll address that at a later date. And then we have uh, Jen Washi. Uh, he is playing Gray, uh, the half orc. Sorcerer. That's me and Mario. Mm -hmm. An original thing I said first. <laughs> yeah, good job. So proud of you. <laughs> it's me, Chris Pratt. Ah. <laughs> no. I. Right. No, I'm not gonna go there. Not gonna go there. Okay. No. Um. So, um, if you want to do not, going to cast sleep. Okay, so you're not gonna cast sleep. Yep. Now that you understand the spell that you selected, you now no longer want to use it. Yes, Armand. <laughs> I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna cast this. Shocking, Shocking grasp, grasp. Okay. I hope that I so land the, it and it gives me. So you're gonna do it on um the the one in front of you because it's touch. Yes, the brown one in front of me. Perfect. Okay, so you reach out, you touch him. You immediately <laughs> you immediately become stuck to him. You cannot get your hand off. Um, but do me a favor, go ahead and, um, make your, make your, make your, make your spell attack. So what do I do? What, what do I have? What do I roll? Darkest rabbit. That's pretty cool. Bugbear is great because they got the extra five feet, uh, reach. So, um, they, they can, they can reach out an extra five feet, an extra Did square. Uh, could reach one, out and touch someone. One D eight there. there. Reach or you can reach out and touch me. I beat you. No, I did it earlier. No one heard me because no one cares. And I'm basically invisible. What do I have to do to roll this fucking spell? You, you click click the spell. Of lighting. I click the spell. Did I click the spell? You click the description. <laughs> I'm, I'm good at this thing. Mm -hmm. Let me play. There you go. So uh, do you want to use your inspiration? Uh, I mean, that sounds like oh, yes. You could use Tides of Chaos. <gasps> Let's use Tides of Chaos. For, for for two damage, I'm just gonna point that out. For two damage. What is? I don't even know. I'm not looking at the screen. What did I roll? I don't know anything. Guys, help me. <laughs> Do you even have Twitch pulled up? Yes. No. Yes. It's small though. It's on my phone. It's very small. Um. I can't, can't zoom in. I don't know how to do. I want him okay, to do Tides of Chaos it? because that means I get to make him roll on the um. Yo, hold up. Magic table. But my. Hold well, on, but changed. my inspiration's 23. It's pretty good. Yeah, but it's only it's... for two damage. Save your inspiration die. Just oh, take yeah, yeah. So tides of chaos. Tides of yeah, chaos. but is there any, like, effects that the spell gives that would be worth only giving two damage? Shocking grasp might have him, like, freeze for a second so I can run what, away. But, what like, spell level are you... Uh, what spell level are you casting this at? Four. You, no. You, you, you should only have level one and level two spells. I'm, I don't know. Whatever. It didn't ask me. Usually it asked me. So oh, it's probably because it's a level two spell and you can't. Yep. Okay, cool. Got it. Yeah. Um, 
Actually, Shock and Grasp is a cantrip in my book, or in this thing. It's probably not, but it looks like oh, it, it is. Oh, it is a cantrip. Yep, you're right. You're yeah. right. Um, oh, it's when you reach fifth level, it increases in damage. Yep, you're right. Okay, yep. So it's a um, cantrip. So you go ahead and cast that. Um, Tides of Chaos. Uh, you use the 23. You do two <laughs> points of damage to this guy. Um, don't Wait, you... Tides of Chaos? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You said you were going to use Tides of Chaos. Yeah, but that doesn't give you the 23 and the two points of damage. That means we have to roll crazy, don't we? Like, I don't I don't remember how this works. Basically, Tides of Chaos gives you the the advantage. You roll again and take the higher of the two. So you take the 23. Doesn't something crazy happen afterwards? Uh, Yes. The next time you cast an actual spell, I just make you roll on the wild magic table. Ooh, Tides of Chaos it is then. Let's mm-hmm, go. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. What a douchebag I am. Mm-hmm. And that's this one right here. So he takes two more points of damage, man. I, I'm going to any- I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull back the curtain and let you know. He has six points of damage has been done to that one that's standing right in front of you. That's so cool. That's oh, gosh. So cool. And that's how orange. That's yeah, orange. Sure, uh, yeah, orange. Was- <laughs> Brown for Armand. How have, how, why can I not see? Okay, what else does that spell do? I can't see the description. I can't see anything. My life is falling um, apart. You have advantage of the attack if um, it was made of armor uh, or metal, which he's not. Um, right. On a hit, it can't take reactions until the start of its next turn, but you didn't hit. But also, please remember, you are now... I didn't hit? I thought I did hit. Oh, yeah, you're right. You did hit. So it uh, it cannot take a reaction, but you are stuck to it. Your hand is stuck to this mimic. Hey, um, just to let you all know, um, mimics are fucking sticky. Just thought I'd throw that out there for you. Mimics, mimics are sticky. You all learned today. Why isn't the one stuck to Quentin's butt? Uh, because he, um, uh, he rolled to get, he either rolled to get out of it or Sister Nova pulled him out. It was one of the two. I, I, I pulled him out. It was a straight check for me. For my bonus action, I'm going to yell to everybody. Help! Oh, no. That's on me. It's help. Gur, it's your turn. Yay! Gur, help. Smash. Wait. Orange. Uh, Okay. I will uh, turn and run. Oh, why didn't anyone tell me I don't have any music going? Shame on you all. Someone give these guys some fate chips for me just being a piss poor DM today. Sorry. Battle music. Where's my battle music? Wait, Popeye chicken sandwich. I'll take one. Thank you. (gasps) I can actually hear the music this time, guys. Yay! Can we, can we have a whole campaign on Tuesdays that's just about the chicken sandwich wars? I'll play I'll play Popeyes. No, I call Popeyes. It's no, I already did it. You can't get out of here, Whispers. Somebody right, so, Gur, Gur, you I'm moved. Me yelling. Mm-hmm. You I'll were next to... You, you'll accept it? Okay, just making sure. Um, You're going to accept it from both of them. They're both going to take... Actually... Mm-hmm. One of them's already used their reaction, so Snail Man. And he's actually prone, so he can't. So you're good. Yeah, Snail Snail Man is prone, and the green be. guy has already uh, taken his reaction for this round. Well, then I'm going to smash. Hopefully just the Mimic and not my friend. Got it. Go ahead. 15 hits. For a whopping right. seven damage. Hey, wait. He only had six left. No, he only had six done. Never mind. I'm still gonna die. <laughs> I'm scratching out brown and writing orange just to placate the masses <laughs> here. I like brown, though. I want to I want to stay with brown because you know what? This could be a very umber brown. It could be like a very, a very fall or autumn brown for sure. Kind of like an orange is. <laughs> Yeah, ha- uh, Perito Supreme is advocating here for XP for for her character. Um, Holly Hair is one away from maxing out XP boosts. Come on, give it. 
Um, Gur, uh, you still like, have a, a you life. still have a bonus action if you want. Um, you still have a little bit more movement left. Can I attempt to pull him off of the mimic? Thank you, Hannah, yes. Indiana, for that sub. Much appreciated. You hey, now you now you. earn more fate chips per minute, and also you have started the the trek towards wonderful lords and ladies of fate T-shirt. I'll make sure I grab that um, for tomorrow's stream. So if you pop in tomorrow's stream, I'll, I'll showcase that for you so you can see what you have a chance to win. And you don't even have to enter anything to win. Just got to hang out. Um, uh, that's more of an action, but if you can describe to me a really, really cool way that you're gonna rip into this um, this mimic, I'll allow it. Um, well, it's more grabbing uh, Gray and fully ripping him away than it was ripping into the mimic. Oh, so you you wanna uh, you wanna grab for? Um... Yeah. It's kind of sling him a lot around like a like a baby doll. What? Well, okay. Who, okay. Me or <laughs> me or the mimic? You. But I am your baby doll. Don't slam me. I'm your baby. I'm not slamming you. I'm slamming you around and trying to separate it. I'll do that. That sounds fun. Let's get busy. Yeah. Wistex, hit I'm... hit me hit me up hit me up in the um in the uh uh the private messages. We'll work out we'll work out yeah, we'll work out that shirt for you. He was doing the um uh did you get to six months? I know yeah. it's coming close. Yeah. Uh, he was doing that. We had when he had the uh, shirts and the uh, mugs backwards before, so he got a mug at three months and get the shirt. Uh, uh, well, I mean, hook the hook the, hook the boy up. Yeah. I told I told yeah. him to slide into them DMs. Oh. We'll work it out. Don't you worry. Uh, all right. Oh, <laughs> Jumbo. Oh, it's on next year. I didn't even see it. Thank you. Yeah. Darkest rabbit. Oh, Wistex over here, gift into the community. Nobody I love it. Nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. I guess I'll <laughs> go eat worms. Um, I see if I could, Gray. Gur, go ahead and roll right. roll me a strength check. I need to go get a drink. I can do that. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. So I'll I will allow it. You run over and you grab um. You, you grab here. Gray Sorry. and you you rip him with enough force to pull uh, his hand off of the mimic, but um, without enough force to pull him away. So you both are kind of just standing there on this platform. The DM but hates me. He is no longer stuck. Oh, um, thanks, girl. Over on loan. Dude's gonna come down he's here. Sticky. He's he's a sticky boy. Don't touch him, dude. Don't touch yeah, him. Yeah, you don't touch him. And he's gonna run over to. and attack Holly Hera. Who just left for a drink. Yeah, I know. Um Wistex is out here throwing out gift subs and being an absolute baller. Wistex. Thank you, Wistex. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you, sir. You know we love you here. Um, darkest rabbit, how rare of an item. Um, so basically the, um, uh, the object is basically a, um, just like a, like a normal stuff. Uh, it can, it can have some kind of magical property. Uh, but keep in mind that that is all at the DM's discretion. So if you try to spawn in like some super OP shit, um, I will nerf it. I will nerf it. Um, but I do like to keep the, the essence, the spirit of what you want to give to the players. Um, true. And if it's just something that's just flat out way out there and it's not going to happen, I'll reimburse you yeah. the points. Some plus examples, some. uh, were like, we had a kazoo of duck summoning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, we had a pile of stakes that were just out of reach. <laughs> when the group was fighting vampires, um, 
We got a teapot that gives us so a, uncommon uh, at most. Yeah, dar uh, darkest. Yeah. That's the uh, think think around that like uh, uncommon items. Yep, mm, at the at, at the. Well, that's the also not very. That, that, it's also kind of untrue because. How do we get the teapot of summoning picnics and outfits? How do yeah, we but the that? thing is, that's not something that, like, affects the, like, outcome of the game too much. I love giving you what all you? those kind of magic items because they don't affect, like, combat and things like that. Yeah. You guys just now don't have to worry about food ever if you really don't want to. Which is huge. It's like and having also a morale a lot. Thanks for that. Yeah. Uh, um, thanks for those uh, bits there, Hannah. Thank you, Hannah. All right, uh, this music's getting old, so let's push forward here. Green attacking <laughs> Holly Hera. Uh, Why me? Because you ran away. Um, it uh, does True. hit, so we're going to go ahead and roll the damage. Uh, it's like it's a cat ten. that likes to chase things. Ten, points of, ten points of That's piercing damage of and six points of acid damage. So he comes down and he just chomps at you. And For the 16 te damage. teeth just pierce through your armor and the saliva starts to burn away at your insides. We... Just like, ooh, ooh. Hold I already took his voice. What else do you want from me? <laughs> Are we supposed right. to die here, Armand? Like, this is this is a hella hard battle to be fighting some baby ass little mimics. This, is, this shit is boss, <laughs> boss level shit. Listen to the music. When yeah. I started playing this music, what did you, what did, what did uh, Good Devil say? Why do I hear boss music? Why do I hear boss music? Yeah. Um, is red, a, is red is gonna swing at um, Quentin again. I just boss. mimics. Them. What is your AC? Uh, thirteen. You're good, just barely. So he, uh, he comes down to to, to bite at you, and you just, uh, you just pull out of the way, quickly and easily. Sister Nova, you are back up. Okay, cool. So, I'm kind of seeing the situation with Quentin. Quentin is a lot physically weaker than Sister Nova. This is just what's is going through her mind. Mm -hmm. And um, so she's going to scoop Quentin up, like, in a bridal-style carry and just run for Go and try and create, like, a formation because it's 2v2 two, it's two two here, but out on the glyph, it could be 4v3, which there's a chance of winning. Okay. Right? So that's, that's a lot of numbers. Uh, or, th th and, and hear me out, we, we could just start hitting things. Like, all of us. We've been doing that. We've been yeah. doing that for many, many rounds now. Mm -hmm. Nothing is happening. Right? And hit, red, hit harder. Red, red and green are scruffy. Well, Sister Nova's going to try and bridle carry Quentin to the glyph. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's wispy. Carry him. I will right. carry him. And since you are the one doing the carrying, um, they're both, well, I guess blue is not because he's still lying face down on the ground. But red is going to make an opportunity of attack at you. I would like you to put yourself... Um, God damn it, red. Uh, in the position that you would like to move yourself to, and then I will move um, Quentin next to you. That's where you want to go? I would like Quentin behind me. Okay. It's a strong formation you guys got going. Hey. Uh, his uh, opportunity attack misses greatly. Oh, hey. um, Can we and... get everybody on this glyph? Yeah, let's let's make a full let's make a formation on the glyph, right? And so let's put spellcasters at the back, me and Gur at the front. So like we cuz like I feel like Gur and I can take the most damage cuz we're the tanks and you guys have the most distance friendly spec like attacks. True. So I feel like maybe we get Quinton on the Eldritch blast. And you do some sorcery spells, and then Holly Harrow. Honestly, I don't know what spells Holly Harrow has, but I'm sure she has them. She do. She got them. Yeah. Holly. She got that good here. berry. It, it, it's just a matter if it hits <laughs> them. Uh, throw some berries. I'm just gonna roll with my witch bolt. I'm not to roll with it anymore. <laughs> oh hell yeah, witch bolt. <laughs> she just got that good berry. Pew pew. Sorry. You know. 
It was um, a very, very useless spell for us in the beginning. And I, I love yeah. her, but it was so bad. <laughs> we always had food. How's you? Well, when I prepared that spell, I was under the assumption that we might not always have food. True. No, no, idea. yeah, this is not, that, that was not at all a, a notch against you. Was the spell I'm sorry. Itself. Like, I, there are some spells that exist in D&D that, like, I don't think any DM would make you work for. You know so, what I'm saying? Like, So the good news is we're about to level up, and you can change that spell out. So have fun with that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can change my spells every time I sleep. It's been long gone. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. The wonderful thing about the druid is uh, you don't pick spells and only learn those. Hey, Sage of Keyblades. Hey, hey, hey. I love me. I love me some um, some Keyblades. Um, all right. Um, Quentin, that's going to pull you up here. And we got our XP boost for Sister Nova. Oh, yay. Thank you. I can't stress it enough that Gray needs them the most. Fucking I don't know how many times I can say this. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Hannah Indiana understood the assignment. There we go. Gotcha. Hey. hey, Hannah! Thank you for uh, faking liking. I understood That's the assignment. Great. I appreciate you. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, Mr. Hayah Blaster. Quentin, your turn. Hey. Indeed, uh, yeah. and we're, we're we're just gonna continue with that. Uh, this time, blue. Actually, no. I've been focusing on red. Let's keep it with red. Okay. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, so that's gonna be a thirteen to hit. Thirteen hits. All right, and D eight plus three. D eight. D eight. D eight. Ah. So, and then plus my charisma motherfucker, which is, sorry guys. <laughs> it sounded like you said my charisma motherfucker, which is really pretty great. <laughs> it's very so, accurate. True. <laughs> so that'll be uh, hits for 14. <laughs> Damn. I say you he dead? Ah, uh, I say you he did. Uh, how much? How much damage? Uh, fourteen points of damage on red. Yep. He is oof hurting real, real, real bad. Well, how about the sub- already- how about the subsequent blast back into the fire? Oh board? yeah, you're right. That blast back. Uh, we like to give you a little bit of extra damage here. Uh, we'll roll. I'll give you. A, I'll give you a little bit more of a roll this time. You better die. Because he's hurt uh, so bad. That does it. The force of the blast pushes him back into the wall, and the um, mimic just kind of hits the hits the back of the wall, and then just starts to turn into this like amorphous goo and starts to slide down the wall, leaving this goo trail everywhere. Goo trail. That's right. That's right. You piece of shit. Next time, bring dressing, because I prefer dressing when someone tongue punches me in the fart box! Wow. Okay. We're learning all I have to say about that. Wow. There's so much to unpack there. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, there's there's a lot to unpack there. Some people like dressing, and some people prefer jelly. I prefer dressing. Jelly? Would you just... I like (laughs) jelly. But I feel like that's a different thing no. in the UK. It is. Are, are you, you saying jelly saying you or chili? I mean, and are no. you saying dressing is like salad dressing or like stuffing? I honestly feel like we need to stop talking about this topic. This if we're topic, if we're gonna talk about differences between butter. between <laughs> UK <laughs> and and and, and oh, American right. stuff, <laughs> I want to know I want to know why why whipped cream is called squirty cream. Who's who's using squirty cream is what I want to know. Yeah, but it just the the Tavious mental face. image of squirty look cream. Look at face when look, oh, look at Tavi's face. Say it again. Explain it to us again. Everyone, okay. study their face. Mm-hmm. You just squirt out the cat. 
Yeah, Hannah, well, Indiana. You do with whipped cream too. You, it's you squirt out the it's squirty oh, cream. God, it's squirty cream. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! You know how back in the tower. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, back in the tower, there is no squirty cream, but there is cheese whiz. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that come with like the the tea the tea the the tea set? Does the tea come with cheese? Does, cheese and crackers? It comes with squirty uh, cream and cheese whiz. Yeah. First of all, I don't understand wow. right, how you guys can be so uppity about squirty cream, but you guys have squirty cheese. Because well, but it's Americans not called squirty really cheese. Really up, yeah, Americans that. are really <laughs> uptight about sexual shit. Okay, like wildly so. But we're also like the most depraved. Oh, so like none of that makes any sense. Oh, all right. Squirty is it like a sexual thing? I mean, sometimes it is. Like Squirty cream things. is only a sexual thing, Davey. No, Squirty <laughs> cream is so only while this is a going sexual on, thing. While this is going on, I'm going to go ahead and the blue one is going to get up. Oh, please, don't let me stop you. Don't let me stop you. The blue one's going to go ahead and get up, and he's going to go ahead and he's going to come down here. And he used his action to get up, so he can't, he can't do anything else. So he's just going to come up here and go... I find Always. your voice very soothing when you say it this way. I think it's talking only about your more while we talk about squirty cream. Bring squirty cream, like a can of it, into the bedroom, and someone's into eating squirty cream in the bedroom. That's because you grew up thinking no, squirty cream was whipped cream in a can. Cream. For us, squirty cream is only semen. Like for us, it only, can only be well, that's semen. That's gross. Why would you call semen it squirty cream? It doesn't have to come. Please a, don't. A, the a, two a, words that's you're using to describe so your whipped cream are all semen. That's so gross. Cream. Oh my god! I don't, I don't disagree with you, but it's just wrong. But it's now, KV, you're never gonna look at squirty cream the same again. Listen. Someone's gonna give you a piece of pie, and they were like, "Would you like some squirty I mean, cream?" And you're gonna be like, "Fuck no!" I bet you guys that you would have cream pies over there. No, you're fucking with us now. This is a joke. Oh, yeah. You're <laughs> joking. You're fucking with us. Get the fuck out of here. There's no way that was a joke. I was sure. like, let's see how far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I hope none of our new followers today are under the age of old. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Hey, we're, we're, we're teaching people. We're t we're we're teaching oh, people. No. Okay. Mom, don't, don't fucking co-sign on what we're doing. <laughs> I'm just trying to validate you all, that's all. No, don't hey, though. But Jesse did the please. right thing. She gave us like plausible deniability and then you were like, hold on, we mean it. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Han <laughs> Hannah and Darkus, if, if you find this kind of banter <laughs> funny, then this bodes very, very well for us because this is yeah, our content. Yeah, this this is our content. Anyway. God damn it. The orange one is up now and he is upset. No, you're oh. the other orange one. The orange <laughs> minute. The other Michelangelo. Who loves pizza? And Joe's. Okay. It's All right. Perfect. Um, Orange is going to go ahead and give uh, give Gray a little lick. Bring it, baby. Wait, no, don't, don't. I'm very weak. Somebody help. That is seven points of piercing damage. Bitch, are you kidding me right now? I mean, I separated you. I don't know more you even do, man. I mean, you've done enough. Four Daddy. points. Four points of acid damage. Seven and four? Yep. That for a total of 11. Are you shitting my dick right now? Are you shitting my dick? I have one fucking HP point. Oh, wow. Oh, and you're fine. Yeah, I'm great. Chip in a chair. Chip in a chair. Um, orange is done. Holly Hera, it is your turn. Sorry, I was throwing the cat at the taco. Okay, um... We're going to use um, my witch bolt action on a uh, green orange, guy, orange, I guess. Orange, orange, god damn it. I'm gonna die. Oh, you're right, you are gonna die. But this is too meta, we never would have had this conversation. <laughs> like, I would, okay. well, I mean. What if I like, didn't die? Uh, I can get, it, I can get a ring off you. Yeah, I'm, I gotta stick with green, because that's what I said. Um, so I don't the have more to we hold, meta, the more I want to add more mimics. Nope, yeah, so stop. I don't. I'm not gonna meta. I'm get us into the circle, everybody. Get into I the glowing circle. Um, so I just have to roll a 1d12 for damage on green, yeah. And then you have to run here. Run uh, here yes, 1d12. If you if you are using your witch bolt. Woohoo! Three. 
That's fun. Tucker, stop scratching my pants. <laughs> no, well, he's going to get an attack of opportunity on me again. And so it's going to hurt me this time. So what, Ron? We need I you move. here. We don't even know that this has any purpose. Okay, yes, fine. Yes, we do. Look at the map. If I die, I'm going to fucking kill you. I'm already dead. How kill me that? more. How about that? Kill me uh, more. He whispers. swings at you for... Uh, four points of piercing damage and uh, three points of acid damage. That's too many points. That's seven. Shush, I can math. That's too many. I was just flexing my math. Gray, it's your turn. What? We're all in the circle. Isn't this over? Isn't this how this experience over? Fuck. Oh, oh, do you you mean mean that you are all standing on the circle and something's supposed to happen? Do you, do you oh, want? Feel, do you, feel, do you want? Feel, one of us certainly thought so. Yeah. <laughs> I think we made no, no, that our dungeon daddy two wasn't just trying so. to kill all of us. Yeah, and be very like, specific. Like, one of like, us like, very much like. thought so. I kind of like. I was kind of hoping. And they convinced that, like, the shit out of me. All right, listen. I'm gonna. To I'm gonna day. bitch slap the fuck out of Brown over here. <clears throat> you tell me what Brown can do for you. <laughs> uh, I'm well. First of all, I'm. I've already cast. Well, can I cast? I have more tokens. So I'm gonna cast magic spell again, which does not take any of my slots, but it 100% does take all my tokens and our sorcery points. Excuse me. And I'm we going to use, thing, so it's okay. use that on. <laughs> I hate you. Use that on everyone. I'm gonna use that on all of my teammates. These are very close. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I'm gonna. I'm gonna cast. Um, I'm gonna try to push all these mimics off of us by casting in between Holly Hera and Gur. Got thunder it. wave. Okay. Uh, Roll your thunder wave why, for me, please. Why am I not on my shit right now? In between me and Gur, that's gonna blast Q and Sister. Yeah, it's fine. It's blasting the mimics. You guys get a save. You got an automatic save. Oh yeah. Which is great. Yeah. That means that you all you all take one point of damage. Yay! Yeah. Which means you won't die. And the mimics all take three points of damage unless they unless they succeed. Let's see. I'm gonna roll it for each individual mimic instead of once for all of them. He did Thank not God. make it. He did not make it. He did not make it. Um, yeah. Wait, did we win? Uh, no, well, it's, it's, here's it's, the thing. It was only I a little bit of damage. Away. It was only a little They're bit off. of damage. Um, it does push them all off, which is going to give um, uh, people some opportunity of attacks. So they're going to be knocked back. They're Come on, fruit back. ninja these bitches. They're Come knocked on. back. Um, so um, we're going to resolve a bunch of stuff here because you used Tides of Chaos. So I have some things I need you to do. But first and foremost, oh, I need um, everybody to add one damage. Uh, I've they already all added one three. damage, don't worry. It's that much damage. Um, blue collapses onto the ground into a puddle of goo. Yes! Hi, goo! Sorry. I wrapped her. I'm sorry. I wrapped her. Um, and... Bray. Yep. I am going to need... A D one hundred roll, please. Oh no, guys! What am I gonna turn into? Bets are open. Bets are a plant, open. A plant. A plant. A plant. A, a plant, plant. A plant. A plant. A plant. A plant. A plant. A plant. <laughs> a sober person. I love it. <laughs> a super person. Um, uh, darkest. The druid is Holly Hera. Holly Hera is the druid. What did I roll? Uh, you rolled an eighty-six. <laughs> <gasps> That's one year away from my birthday. That's important, right? That's important. <laughs> Out of the, that's one in a one hundred chance. Zero. Oosh. No. All right, so um, you cast the spell. You, you feel the wild magic surge through you, and then nothing happens. At least, huh. it doesn't seem like anything has happened. Interesting. All right. So you try to walk around in chicken feet. <laughs> uh, that's gonna bring us to Gur. What the fuck? Oh, um, opportunity of attacks. Uh, anyone who wanted to, um, Gur, you could take an Ooh. opportunity of. Uh, an op- oh, actually, bl- Blue's dead, so it doesn't really matter. That that's Blue. Um, well, orange is next to me. 
stab Yes, yeah, so you can take an opportunity attack on Orange. Um, Gray, you also yeah. can take an opportunity attack. And Sister Nova, you can take an opportunity attack on um, Green. Opportunity um, attack. And... I'm gonna hit them in their face. Quentin, you can also take an opportunity attack on Green. It's 15 good to hit. 15 is I'm good to double, hit. I'm double-handing my quarterstaff. Oh, that's so cool! What? Then 12 damage to Orange. Staff of the Python for me. Give it to me, DM. Give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see my, my roll. What was my roll? Uh, 14. Hey. Hey. Staff Add 14 to that, perfect. baby. Uh, so. Or orange is hurt, bro. Gur swung at orange, correct? Yep. Cat is trying for to be crazy. 12. Yeah. That's. And I swung an orange for 14. For four. Well, for six. What? 14 was your to hit roll. Oh, okay. So six. Sorry. I, I can't see it. I just rely on everyone else. And. Quentin missed. Sister Nova, you got green for six. Oh, oh boy, yeah. and Gray got another XP boost. There we go. That's what Yay! I like to see. That's what I like to see. And I see that item redemption. I see that item redemption. Don't you worry. It's coming. Um, Gur, it is uh, your turn. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off and uh, do all that, but here we go. <gasps> so, uh, Arm hooked me up with Gray. XP? Ermy. Thank you, bro. Thank so Arm Arm's the still Arm. alive, Arm. huh? Arm's on... Uh, something. yeah. Mm hmm. Well, Orange is still alive. Well. I can't believe nothing Moving happened on this fucking thing. <laughs> Very upset. I'm not. I mean, I hope something does happen with the glyph because, like, no. I'll no. Uh, use my luck to change we my. We tried. Okay. So you're going to take the 18 then? Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. So 10 bludgeoning damage on this poor little orange guy. He is hurt. He is really hurt. You can see he's oozing that 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 uh, goo that they all turn into. You can see him kind of oozing that out a little bit. He's feeling oozy. Do you guys remember that uh, scene in Three Ninjas when the giant Asian like sumo wrestler guy grabs the little kid's face and he starts shaking him and he goes, I'm going to squeeze your head until the green ooze comes out of your eyes. Does anybody remember yeah. that or is it just me? I no? It right. seems scientifically inaccurate. It super <laughs> is, but it's a great moment in like, you know, mm. 90s history. Okay, so while you all were talking, Green decided he wanted to take his turn. He rolled up on um, uh, on our boy here. Uh, let me... Get a whole bunch of dice here. Do I have enough? Yep. Yeah. Bruce remembers. So, yes. um, this mimic is very, very angry. He runs up on Gur and bites down with a force that you have not felt in some time, Gur. Uh oh. Burp, burp, burp. Uh, let's see, seven. Sixteen points of piercing damage. <laughs> Fuck. And eight points of um, acid damage. Fucking balls! Did you roll a seventeen die? Oh my god! Uh, he crit. He crit. Damn. The, the 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 mimic the mimic rolled double damage. Thank now I'm angry. Yeah. Fucking crit on Gur, dude. Thank God. This is the first time Gur has not like raged at the very beginning of a battle, and he is paying the price. Oh, I was yeah. busy. <laughs> you you Get were busy. On with it. <laughs> uh, Sister Nova, you are next. Okay, so Sister Nova is um, Vibing. going to cast Magic Missile on the green one. Okay. Um, which I don't need to roll to hit for. Right, you can um, and you and you can and you can roll them um, individually if you'd like. So if one hit kills one of them, you can direct the other blasts in a different direction. 
how do I roll the roll it individually? Uh, what is the damage for that? I am um a l- what does it say there for it's, it? It's um okay, so it's one d four. Each a dart deals one d four plus one force plus one. So it's um. So just I'm roll roll a d. Yeah, you you can roll them all together if you want and blast him with all four. Or you can, like I said, do them individually. So just roll like 1d4, add one. And then, so um, three points. Which one were you aiming this one at? Um, The green one right in front of me. Green right in front. Uh, that's three. Oh. Um, he looks really, really hurt. Are you going to ha- aim at him again? Uh, hell yeah. Go um, for it. At this time, I'm going to add the modifier. Sorry. You're fine. Oh wait, no! That I rolled was, the wrong dice. <laughs> it's it's cool. Oh, Booyah! And that was without the them. Um, and that kills him. He's dead. <gasps> okay. Oh shit! Wait, oh wait, no, no, no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Strike that. <laughs> Strike that. Son of a bitch. It um, five. That was so six, mean. Seven, eight. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh, I was on the wrong kidding, one. Fuck you. Um, so the Just green one, the green ones, green ones, looking a little hurt. Uh, but he's still alive. He's still up there. Okay, um, I think the I'm wrong good. one. That means one of the other two is pretty fucking weak. So we either have to smite Three or more. inch. Okay, uh, he's still up. W- one last one. Yep. Whoa. Oh, so, uh, Sister Nova? Yeah. When you end your turn, please talk about your god for a second. Okay. Um,. Oh, you to want expl- me to pray to Skepta? Yes, I would like you to explain that Skepta is your god. I think you've done oh. enough, actually. Hannibal, Hannah, 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 Hannibal. <laughs> yeah, Hannah Indiana just wants to know what um if you follow oh. a particular god or goddess. We've this this entire campaign is is very heavy on the homebrew, so I let True. my players kind of craft what uh, they wanted for their backstory and all that stuff got interjected into the uh, the lore of the world okay sure. well um sister nova worships the goddess skepta who is uh the guardian of the moon and the goddess of knowledge and wisdom um her temp her place of worship is called the library of midnight which basically uh the, the role of paladins is to journey into the world with a journal and write everything they discover and learn and then eventually bring the journal back. The journal is a form of an afterlife because it's their, everything they learn in their life being passed down. Um, so fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> and um, Sister Nova worships the idea of the church and the... Um, and values knowledge and curiosity above all, but she is still a good character. The faith itself is true neutral, but Sister Nova is chaotic good. Um, she does value morals and stuff, but like, if there's something she wants to know, she will go and try and find it out because she has made an oath to that to like an oath of magic and discovery um and yeah um in this pantheon there are technically four gods there's um the goddess adora who is the god of dusk and society there's um the the god um i can't remember all their names but there's a god for noon and there's a god for dawn the god of dawn is a god of war, and the god of noon is a god of coin, a god of money and wealth. Um, but yeah. Uh, Darkus, I have to. Um, uh, well, I, I, I'm not sure exactly how long the cooldown is, but it shouldn't be that terribly long. It's just to stop <laughs> uh, a huge stream of items just getting thrown into the game. It's basically to stop me from, like, blowing their game up. Because all I ever do is, like, redeem items. Uh, Quentin, you are up. Oh, I didn't move. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. So, please go ahead. that's fine. I'm going to move forward. um, And um, just 
so like if this mimic tries to move, I get an attack of opportunity. Correct. True. Yeah. Also, okay. Tavi, that was an amazing explanation of your backstory and your god. Thank Wait you. Now, Quentin. Stellar. All right. Uh, so seeing my uh, my good friend bloodied up and looking like he's ready to pass out, I am going to get in between him and the mimic uh, that's been making his day hell. Be like, hey, hey, if anyone's going to bite my, my gray boy, it's going to be me. Oh. I... Uh, and that is going to be a, tw- well, I guess a 22 hits, right? 22 does hit. Yes. Okay. Dur- I'm uh, assuming a dirty 20 there. Yeah. You're uh, good. Uh, yeah. That was, a uh, uh, no. So, uh, yeah, 22. So. It hits. Yep. <laughs> it was a 17 and I got a plus five on, uh, attack rolls, whatever. So... Let's see, that's good. Ooh, I'm pretty sure this guy's dead. Uh, so that's 15, 18 points of damage. 18 points of damage on orange? Mm-hmm. He's dead. So you uh, oh. you, you, you blast him and you just see uh, uh, a, a puddle of goo. Uh, uh, if, I, if I may, Absolutely. as I charge my necrotic damage and... Just with uh, uh, all the might I can muster, my hi-yah! I send the the mimic flying back into that wall where it promptly explodes and coats the wall in its viscera. You're welcome. Wonderful, wonderful. I love that description. That's beautiful. Uh, that's gonna bring us to Holly Hera. Holly Hera, you notice um, on the ground behind you is um, a staff, and that staff uh, at the uh, head of it has uh, a carving of this very ornate snake on it. I like snakes. <laughs> Girl, look at this stick I found. <gasps> oh, that's a cool stick. Oh, boy. Mm. Girl likes sticks. Girl does like sticks. We stand the uh, and sticks. <laughs> Oh, that is my wife's favorite joke of all time. What's brown and sticky? Did someone say what's brown and sticky? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, Hannah and Anna, you're now my favorite person. Hey. Fo- follow that up with, oh no, our table, it's broken, and you have literally <laughs> made a new friend today. Made a puddle. <laughs> and for those of you wondering, the answer to that joke is a stick. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't want to be that guy. Holly, is there anything you would like to do since, you know, I Um, described this stick behind you and you did nothing? Just curious if you'd want to take your turn. I'm reading again about the stick and then if I can, if I won't feel like using it or if I just want to do my, um, what's your thing again? Um, You can move that into your um, inventory as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put the stick in my inventory for now, and our green's our last baddie standing, right? Correct. All right, we're gonna do the witch bolt at green again. Let's have a better roll this time. How about it? There you go. Uh, that kills it. Green is dead. So Sweet. you you reach out with your uh, concentration and squeeze and. Uh, the the electricity from the uh, witch bolt uh, just courses through this mimic and kind of rips it apart. And the battle of the mimics has been won. Now Gur goes into a rage and starts destroying all the rest of the furniture. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you start running around. You're smashing everything. Uh, there's a coat rack that you smash uh, mm-hmm. and uh, the end table. Those are pretty much the only two things that did oh, not boy. turn into mimics. Uh, you smash them until they're little tiny pieces of wood, just all. Sp- I'll rip. I'll rip that rug apart. Absolutely, into into tiny shreds. Mm-hmm. Anything. About, There's lights on the wall. Ha, they're gone. Ha, how about the books? Books are stupid. Wait, no, wait! Don't destroy the books, please. Don't. Can't help it. Please I'm don't. I'm pretty sure all those books are mimics, girl. Go get them. No. <laughs> I gotta read them first. <laughs> I gotta go read them. I gotta go read them. <laughs> You can have this half. You can have this half. 
All right. So let me go ahead and uh, and 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 stop the um, the heaviness of the music we've got going on here. Uh, what do we what do we got here for something a little bit? Uh... This cooldown seems like it's taking forever. I'm just going to deduct the points for. Uh... Oh, or Arm Slayer did it. Okay, good deal. Oh yeah. Thanks, Arm Slayer, for getting that redemption for Darkest Rabbit. Get something a little bit more. Uh... More light, not as heavy. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um. So, um. Erm. Uh, Erm. Um. Gur, as you're running around smashing stuff, when you flip over the table and start breaking that apart, you see, um, uh, a potion. All right. And um, on the on the front of the potion is like a little sticker, and it's got this uh really big beefcake dude just on the front of it, just going like this. Just All right, I'm flexing real hard. And then do the same thing while I'm looking at it. <laughs> Gur just got an XP boost. Hey. <laughs> all right. Well. So um, that puts you all. Oh, they're all dead. Yeah. Yay! Let me go ahead and we did, there we go. We, we did it while I was while I was peeing. Which says to everyone. I'm most important character. Please give me XP boosts. Oh, hell yeah. Because without me, you win, right? So, like, boost me. <laughs> All right, so... And I'll, uh, I'll show Holly the, what I found. You got a stick. I got this. Oh, uh, me? Girl, what does that do? I don't know. It's got a picture of me on it, though. <laughs> <laughs> it looks just like you. Why don't you go ahead and put that in your bag? Okay. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, in all of the um, excitement of the battle, you all feel like you have grown just a little bit more wiser and stronger and more powerful as you all <laughs> increase your levels by one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna bog the stream down by doing level up here and now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll do that off uh, off stream. Um, so we'll go ahead and let the uh, the players kind of go ahead and role play a little bit right now. So you've got we've got about a half an hour more left to go. So uh, <sighs> here you are. Well, so uh, lovely uh, leveling up. Does that reset your health pool like your full health now? Sure. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because in other words, uh, yeah, cool. Great. You're healed. <laughs> wow. Yay. That's amazing. Yay. Yay. All your spell slots reset. So now that um doors and furniture have given me a bad taste, I'm going to go into the <laughs> other two rooms and start smashing that furniture as well. Okay. Starting with this one. I'm going to oh, follow uh, closely behind Gur and see if um, I find anything after he's smashing. I think I might go down this corridor and find that locked door. All right. I think I'm going to read my character sheet again real quick one sec. Because I, I think I do have like a proficiency in lock picking because of reasons. <laughs> Um, Gray, is there anything that you'd like to uh, do while um, everybody else is kind of looking at their stuff, figuring out what they want to do? You're, you're kind of down there in a corner, and I don't like putting uh, putting baby in a corner. Uh, I'm going to just take a few steps towards the center of this. Like, well, it looks like kind of a pentagram, and I'm going to cast something. Okay. Directly into the center of it, where I see a small crack. <laughs> I am going to cast um, hmm. I'm going to cast uh, 
minor illusion, and the illusion I cast is going to be of a uh, huge ass standing in the center. Okay. So and... you cast you you cast the minor illusion of um, of Hugh. Uh, and Hugh's kind of standing there next to you in this um, circle. Uh, and he's just kind of well, standing sorry. standing there stoically. Sorry. In, in this in this illusion, I'm sorry, I didn't say this right. I am now a huge ass. Like, the oh, illusion is so that I am like, huge ass. Got it, got yeah. it. Okay, okay. Um, so, 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 yeah. I'm you... by myself. I'm huge ass. I'm standing in the center of this, like, pentagram ass thing. And I say, um, all hair chombo. Um, you hear a booming voice, uh, almost sounds like it's coming from the inside of your head go, no, you're not. (laughs) (laughs) Tell him to prove it. I'll finish my turn by saying, (laughs) I tried. I'm gonna walk off. <laughs> I did my best, guys, and I'm walking off. All right, let's go yeah. around. Uh, well, I guess I'll, I'll give uh, Holly Hera a second. Let's go to Quentin real quick. I see you're kind. Of, you're you're not here either. Gee, every okay, fine. Uh, um, what? I, oh, I'm, I'm here. I dropped the die on the floor and I can't find it. <laughs> You're right. searching the room. Quentin, go ahead. What are you? Um, what are you? What are you doing here? Hey, I found it. Um. And it was my DA too. I needed it. Uh, let's see. Uh, so uh, no one else has investigated this room. I'd like to just uh, kind of go in here and uh, see what kind of supplies and items uh, just ru- uh, rummage through the various boxes. Um. Yeah. So I mean, you find like these want- boxes have uh, things like uh, like ropes and like linens and all kinds of stuff in there. Nothing of uh, a lot of use looks like basically just like a like a basic storeroom. Huh. Okay. If you um, wanted to take some rope with you, you could. Yeah. Uh, I think I already have rope though. So yeah. Okay, that's a bust. I'm just gonna join. Uh, the, I'll just leave the room. Join Sister oh, Nova. You've caught me lock and- picking. <laughs> And, uh, 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 oh, oh, oh. That's there. That's a, that's a, that, that, that's a, that's a, that's a mighty, the mighty, mighty interesting skill you got there. How's it it's, going? It's okay. You know, locksmithing is surprisingly useful. You know, there's, you know, when people just forget their keys and, you know, it's just nice to be able to open the door or, you know, it's. Yes. They never it had is. the keys in the when first place. When you have the keys legally, you little I'm, scamp, you. I'm not a scamp. I'm just opening. Uh, Do you want the door open or not? Do you want the door open or not? Because we can no, leave it closed. It, it's okay. I'm just going to sit here and gush silently. <laughs> this is a skill I had before I met you. I'm not really sure where I learned it, but I had it before I met you. Um, do I need to roll anything for lock picking? Is it like a sleight of hand? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Erm Slayer, yes, there is a confirmation on that in Counter 5. Absolutely, I know exactly what it's going to be. Can I use, um, my inspiration to have the 20? Um... <clears throat> Or is it, or is I'll it go ahead. Like, I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and let um uh, let you keep your inspiration because uh, thirteen is going to be good enough. You fiddle around in there, and uh, you know you've you've practiced on locked doors all over the Church of Midnight. Don't know exactly in the restricted section. Yeah, you you you, you don't you don't know exactly where this skill set came from, but you you've always found it very very easy uh, to deftly get your you know lock picks in there to fiddle around in there and it easily just unlocks you turn the key hole and Ah. the door slides right on open revealing the remainder of this room 
Oh, sis- sister, that 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 looked really easy for you. Got some practice, have we? Yeah. You know, I I guess I just like locksmithing. Uh, well, locksmithing is one thing. Uh, that's and I can assure you, uh, locksmithing usually involves more than a you know a a, a hair clip. Actually, and- it's 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 my halo, but I bent it a little bit. All oh, your halo even bends. Can you bend them in the horns? That'd be awesome. No, no, I've got to keep it in a circle. But like, if I like twist it and I get it like really, really thin, I can bend it. I guess. I get the feeling the the Almighty would be just a little cheesed that your perfect circle is now an oval. You know because. You know, infallible and stuff, but you know, uh, bend those rules. Why yeah, not? but she worships a window, so how mad can? Uh, how, no, but like, how mad but can it's they also be? a tree. Yeah, it's also a tree. Yeah, and uh, a lady who sits on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go up to um, uh, Gur and Holly Hera in this uh, room upstairs, or not upstairs? At the, oh, uh, smash, 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 smash. What are we finding? You see anything, Gur? <laughs> a lot of smash. Things. If you would like to search through the rubble that Gur is leaving in his wake, you yeah, can go I ahead was. and do that. I'm going to do a search search. Perception <laughs> check. Smash, smash. Uh, yeah, so you're looking around and um, you see um, uh, you see a journal. There seems to be a lot of journals oh. in this world. I like to read. On the front of it, it says Thaddeus Flibbits. And it is locked. Locked. We know that tight. name. Mm-hmm. We know that name, don't we? That, uh, was... that is the name of the person <coughs> who is <laughs> like rumored to uh, to have owned this wizard's tower. Okay. Oh. I can take but care it, of that lock. But it's never been it's never been um, proven because it's it's just a story, right? It's just something that you tell your kids at night, like, oh yeah, that wi- that ancient wizard Thaddeus Flibbits and his magic transporting uh, wizard tower. I'm gonna fumble with the lock to see if I can try to get it open, and then when I realize I can't, I'm going to hand it to Gur. Um, hey, can you smash this for me, bud? Yeah. Uh, roll, roll attack. Yeah. So you come down and you go to smash and you smash the lock. Uh, and this force of energy just hits your mall and bounces it back. It actually throws you back through the door and you hit the wall here outside. We got a fighter. <laughs> it's not working. Nope. Uh, uh, Darkest uh, Rabbit, uh, <clears throat> we usually didn't have a lot of people uh, redeeming a whole bunch of stuff back to back to back. So I'm not 100% sure, but after this stream is done, I, um, I'm i going to go back. We're going to go back in and we're going to take a look and see if we can't tweak those um, uh, cooldowns a little bit. Um, I just want you to know that I, 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 I hear you. Yeah, it should be 15 minute global. And I am doing I my best. It's not. Maybe we have something set up on personal for it as well. But, uh, yeah, I'll have to double check. Yeah, but we'll, so we'll, we'll take a look at it. Absolutely. Um, I'm just going to pick up the um, journal and put it in my bag for now. Okay. See if maybe sister or Quentin can help me open it. Or Gray. He could, he's a helpful person, too. All right. So we got that going on now. Um. Uh, the two in the stairwell. Um, I think Sister Nova is going to take a quick look around the stairwell to see if there's anything that immediately grabs her attention, any like secret 
doors or any like is there like a bookshelf under the stairs or anything or? It, it looks like a pretty standard staircase it's circular it looks like it wraps around the outside of the uh the tower wall um and just by looking at it you can't really tell exactly how far up it goes but it doesn't um, look like it doesn't look like there is a room directly above this one like you would like you would assume for no reason whatsoever, I want to know what this plant is in front of me. Um, <laughs> you look at it, it it's is a, a sp- it's a split leaf um, philodendron. And it reminds you of your your, your buddy Gray. Family. Family. <clears throat> oh. Um, oh, hold on. Uh... Do I still have it? Oh no. Yes, I do. Um, you can continue because I I have to message you this one. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Uh, oh my. What's happening? Oh my. Um, and no one knows. Um, so yeah, we'll go back. We'll we'll go back to Gray. We'll go back to Gray since the uh, since um, Quentin needs a moment. Okay. <clears throat> Gray, yeah. so you come around. You come around the corner and you hear a loud uh, boom, and you just see Gurr being launched out of that room, and he hits uh, hits the wall. Shit, Papa, you good? I'm gonna run over Gray. I'm in mean, Gurr. Yeah, the book didn't like it. The what? Didn't like who? The book. The book? There's the, a book. There's a book. All right, man. Um, well, I'm not a big reader, as we know. It doesn't have well, teeth. <laughs> I'm kind of stupid. <laughs> sort, of, sort of dumb, I think is the word. But, like, you know what? I'm it was the intonation. It was the intonation. I'm pretty dumb. That was that's the was pretty missing. dumb. That's what I was missing. Pretty dumb. Uh, sort of stupid. I guess I'm the one that's actually sort of stupid. Well, hold on, Holly. Can you hear me from that room? I think so. Yeah. How how are, how is your reading skills? I'm a pretty good reader. I'm kind of a sage. True. 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 All right. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna help our boy out here. Okay. And just just to help him feel a little bit better, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast press the digitation, and I'm just gonna make some little sparks, like some fun little cute little sparks in front of him, so he can go ooh ah, and I'm gonna walk past them and go into the room. <laughs> so this is this is just this is all for morale. I'm kind of just trying to hype up Gur a little bit so he feels better. And I'm coming here to the reader. And I'm gonna say, Holly, what you got? Um, Gray, when you walk into the room, you just see a pile of broken furniture, ripped sheets, uh, just books with pages ripped out of them, all thrown over the floor. Um, it just looks like... I don't remember paying for incidentals here. (laughs) (laughs) Hold on. I found this journal. It's locked. I can't get in. Even Gert tried to smash the lock and it didn't work. That's what he got oh, thrown out of the room. That's what he means by book. Okay. I thought yeah. he was trying to read and it smashed his face. Oh, Gert can read just fine. No, we were trying to get this lock. Gert can read? Hold on. Yeah, Gert no, and, and, and is insanely so intelligent. He had to read. Yeah, yeah Gert, Gert is surprisingly smart. I should be able to read that. It's very sad for you. Everyone always cuts Gert short. It just, they don't. But he's so big, no, though. Gert is very tall. Yeah, how could we cut pasta cup short? It's like a tree. <laughs> All right, while this conversation is uh, going on, we'll kick it back over to the stairwell. Did I give you enough time there, uh, Quentin? We filled time, guys. Did you not see the message? Oh, I'm sorry. I was... Uh, I... There we go. We were... <clears throat> My voice is going away again. Oh, no. Absolutely. Go ahead and roll me... Um. I guess survival to put it all together. That's perfect. You're good. You got it. Let's 
So, is there anything happening? Then what is happening? Uh, nothing yet. No, just wanted you to roll. Yep. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, um, uh, uh Quentin, uh, Constitution save for me. You're up, bro. You hear that really creepy voice in your head again going, I'm going to get you. Uh... Um, well, if you can, you at least get me a six piece on the way. And like, who the <laughs> what? No. Biscuits. And there's no more... more biscuits either. Can I? Well, do... the least you could do is get me some goddamn waffle fries and a Dr Pepper for free. For free. Can I do an insight check on a uh, Quentin? Can I do? A, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Go. Ahead. Please, please go ahead and do an insight check. You just see him over there kind of like talking to himself, but you know what? You've been hanging out with this group for a while now, and it doesn't seem like that's too outside of the realm of possibility here. You're just like, uh, Quentin's just having another day, I guess. Um, okay, well, it's clear you're having a conversation. Um, <laughs> so I don't want to interrupt, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what's up these stairs. You're gonna go up the stairs by yourself? I'll, um, I'll, I'll come with you, sister. The way you leaned into the mic. <laughs> oh, Say no. Oh, oh no, it's, it's, no. It's, it's fine, Quinton. It's fine, Quinton. You can continue talking oh. to your imaginary friend. It's okay. Oh, I don't okay. want to get in between. Uh, I mean, you uh, can uh, come if you want. Yeah, well, well, you okay? You can go. Like, you clearly want to go on your own, which you know is not the least bit suspect oh, at all. Oh, oh uh, no, 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 no! Know. I don't, I don't mind going. I just, I just kind of want to take a peek. I just want to take a cheeky peek. You, you know, I'm just so excited you. about about the tower, cheeky and I just, uh, you uh, know, talk to us more about uh, your origins. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, but uh, splitting groups bad. Oh. While you're having this oh. discussion on the stairwell, oh. we're gonna kick it back to the uh, the 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 destroyed room with Gur kind of outside. <laughs> Gur is gonna gross. feel like his job is done in that room. And he's gonna enter this room and do the same. Gotcha. Where's and this girl? room had literally nothing of value. You were, you were just making a mess here, just a big old what mess. And um, Gray and Holly Harry, you just hear from the room over through these thick walls. You could still hear just. Smash, 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 smash. Ray, do you have any idea how to get this lock open? Any thoughts? <clears throat> I have I have a lot of thoughts about a lot of things. And I'd like to tell you about them in the other room. Okay, fair enough. I snatch the journal back out of Ray's hand. Yep, and when, um, great, when you walk out um, uh, down the I'm hall there. I'm perfectly fine. Nothing happened. You notice you notice that that um, that door at the end of the hallway is it's actually a jar. <laughs> is, is, well, it, you laugh, but it is actually a jar. It's not completely closed. It's kind of like creaked open just a little bit. No, but she meant a jar, like a uh, jam I jar. Know, I know. And um, and uh, so Gray, funny. Gray, go ahead and roll me an insight check. Wow, hey, VG, yeah. what's up? VG. I'm so excited. Yo. Hey. Who's VG? Video game mermaid. Aww. Hey. Insight? Yep. Ooh. Insight. Clearly clack. You oh. um Don't uh, talk back at me. So I'm gonna move you back. You didn't you didn't officially move into the room yet. You kind of walked towards the room and kind of stopped dead in your tracks as you saw the door. Um you you realized that your friend Quentin is no longer with the the group, and neither is neither is Sister Nova, and that door is the only thing that's kind of open. And you I'm just gonna, feel you feel drawn to it. And I'm gonna run and drop kick it. You're run and drop kick the door. Yes. That would be uh, an acrobats. Absolutely. Go ahead. Roll Acro me. Um, acrobatic. Acrobatics. No, hold on. It would be something other than that. would be something I have better ishness in. No, that would be acrobatics. <laughs> God damn it. Can it, can we, can it be stealth? Oh. All right. So you run up to the door, get ready to kick <laughs> it. 
but you forget to actually jump and kiss. So you just oh, run into the dear. door. As you <laughs> as you run into the door, you feel you feel something around your ankles like you just broke a a piece of string and almost immediately immediately this split leaf philodendron just pops out of nowhere directly in your face like just boom hey <laughs> am i still we- i'm still on the stairs right yeah you guys have it you guys were, were making your argument as to whether you should split the party up as this happens oh gray is that is that you uh, all i see is plant i see me plant plant me wait hey. Hey, Sister, Gray, it looks you? like you found your brother. Your long-lost brother. You're finding oh, fucking Oh, it. really? Where? I don't see anyone. I see Wait, did you guys say you found Edda? Who's Edda? Wait, no, listen. You can't hear him. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see a, your brother, Gray. No, the, it's I'm the, plant, the, the plant. It's the it's plant. The plant. The he plant? was fucking with me. Long, long, I turned into a oh, plant is, before is, you came here. Wait, I wait, is the plant cursed? Is, is the plant actually a person? Is, I mean, we... I'm cursed. So. Yeah, but you're no. an alcoholic. We all know yeah. that you're cursed. Okay, well, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I need does, to anyone, does anyone want to, like, detect magic on this thing? or? Uh, I cast detect magic. Do you have detect have magic? I don't have that. Someone else do it. <laughs> I think that I do have detect magic, but I'm not sure if I have the spell slots for it. I may have smited too close to the sun. <laughs> um... <laughs> oh wait, no, I do, I do, I do, I do. I have one more spell slot. Do I want to waste it on this? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll do it. For fuck's sake, we need you. So, you notice that this, um... Uh, this, this... Potted plant is emanating some kind of powerful magic. This, um, it, it, the sense that you are getting from this is that this plant is a person. Oh. What? Oh, Sister Nova's face, like, goes pale. My son? As she, like, (laughs) goes to the plant and picks it up very carefully. Be careful with my son. I, um... You hear the plant scream. Papa! (laughs) I, I kind of, like... I try, I gently, like, try and inspect the leaves to see if there's any, like, peculiar, like, patterns on the leaves. Or you, you hear the plant just whisper to you, feed me. No, I'm just kidding. It's not. It's, 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 that's not the direction we're going with that. Um, yeah, you, you start looking around. You, you look around at the, um. You can help yourself. It's fine. Uh, you're, you're looking around at the leaves and stuff like that. And, um, there's nothing that's kind of, like, uh, like. I still have Completely one hit point. Completely yeah. out there as far as like telling you anything about it. Yeah. It it does yeah. seem like whatever it was has been um it whatever spell had been cast <laughs> to do this Detect. was casted a long time ago. Um so this this person has been a plant for a while. Um, you do notice that the leaves are starting to kind of turn a little bit. Um, All like the it, are it brown. needs it exactly. All like it, someone has not been taking care of this this plant. Um, I, I I guess I use some of um my water to like put in the plant, and you know what? I'm taking the plant with me. The plant is. My new best friend. Absolutely. So you got the plant with you. You've poured some water in it. And immediately you can tell this plant has just taken to the water. Like it's its leaves start to get that nice green shine to it. Um, It starts to stand up just a little bit taller. And it almost looked like it winked at you almost. But that's Damn. crazy, right? A plant can't is, wink. Is the plant hot? 
<laughs> Roll a 20. Roll a 20. Here it comes. Is the plant a what? I mean, you're not... You, you, you've you never been interested in plants, but you're looking at this plant and you're like, if I was a plant, maybe. It's a, he's a, it's a, he's a definite ask, maybe. It's a definite maybe. The plant was a hot. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Okay. I, I just, I roll the dice to see if the NPC is hot it. or not. I love it. Okay. Well, um, what should we call the plant? Burn gully. Reginald McDirty Bottom. Okay, both of those are very a good, good time for chat to chip in. Yeah, okay. chat. Um, hey, if chat. um, if anyone in chat would what like to name the, the plant, uh, <laughs> go ahead and throw out some suggestions. You can throw out okay. as many suggestions as you'd like, and okay. I'll take the one I like the most, or I'll piece a couple of them that I really like together. Heck Tell yeah. me. Also, DM, keep really the want. redeem object we have in the chat as well. Oh wow! Look at that. Perfect. Okay, so, so I've got that. Burn gully is good, but like it's it's not it's not your own though. So crystal, crystal, mandrake, mandrake is very good. <laughs> Gillyweed, mandrake's great. These are all so good. Why are you guys so fucking creative and smart? You guys Ass plant, so Bruce. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Tree beard. <laughs> Tree beard's bad. Tree beard's very bad. I love Tree you. Tree beard's from Lord Tree of the Rings. Beard. Yeah, I know. There's two people who say Mandrake, so we're going to go with Mandrake. Hells no. yeah. Dumpy. Oh, but Stumpy. I like Stumpy, so we're going to call him Stumpy Mandrake. Stumpy is his first name, Man is his middle name, and Drake is his last name. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's very... he's So if this plant had to put on the sorting hat, it would be a Slytherin for sure, right? No, no, uh, there's no O at the end. There's no O. I hate you. Bruce, you you would like ass plant. Um, so uh I'm gonna give Gur Fan and Holly Hera a last chance to do something if they'd like, because we are pretty much towards the end here of the stream. Oh, okay. So um I'm gonna uh, do it. You're gonna do it? <laughs> I'm gonna do what? Is this room thoroughly smashed? Everything it, it is you are walking on splinters at this point. Is this room thoroughly smashed? I'm, I'm going to run in here. One more time. Do I see that this door is open? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to run in real quick. Pop my head in. Is that in here? And if there's a quick no or no response at all, then I'm going to run back around to this door and try to open this one. All right. Does anyone That's respond? Oh, I think Sister Nova was like, oh, look here with the plan. Not interested. <laughs> Not interested. Wait, is the plant Edda? Oh my god. No, Holly Harry, you're, is... you're Holly Harry, is there anything you'd like to do before we wrap up? Um I rolled for perception to see if I found anything in the piles of where Gur smashed stuff. Um Nope. What? I mean that was a pretty boss ass roll, but okay, fine. It was there's there's nothing roll. there's nothing in that room. There's literally <laughs> nothing in that room. Um, okay, fine. Then I'm done. My voice is done. Dar no darkest, darkest rabbit. Uh, I oh, did I not miss your item redemption. Um, the cloak. Uh, there was just nowhere naturally for me to spawn that for Sister Nova. But oh, um, if you. if you make sure that you show up next week at um, 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time when we go live for the continuation of our story, I can assure you that there will be a room coming up here in the next level of this uh, tower. Or maybe in this other room that Gur is just uh, uh, trying to explore. Um, so so don't don't be discouraged. I have I have it written down. It is it is here. It will be given out. Um, I don't want you to think that I missed it. Um, and like I said, we are going to go ahead and we're going to reevaluate the, um, uh, the cooldowns. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll play around. Uh, the more we get people in here that want to be active with us and want to experience the Lords and Ladies system by purchasing items and healing players and making them say or do silly things, um, the more we have to reevaluate how the things work. So um, That's very true. But also, I've been complaining about cooldowns for eight months. 
Okay, well, we're finally now well, at the point where we need to, we need, we, we need to, to, to act on it. Before, when we had what, what one they're, person they're doing saying, the, Jack, the is redemptions. That, is that, well, the, is the other that problem, too. And when, I, and when I, when I spam chat, I don't matter. You know, the other thing you have to consider too is if you can do if 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 we can if everybody can do an item every fifteen minutes, then half of the game campaign is going to be just the GM trying to figure out how to work the items in. Or so there's got to be some mix of mm-hmm. or, game or and redemption. or every redemption happens next campaign. So every next campaign was written by the chat. Yeah, but we should try to be a little bit more immediate with that stuff. Yeah, we'll mm-hmm. want to get their stuff yeah. in. Fine. Which is why but I said if, something. If, I wanted to if, make sure that they knew. Choose, if we choose to be more immediate, and that happens to affect whether or not they can actually use it, doesn't it kind of cancel it out? <sighs> and also, oh, also remember, um, um, uh, Dar- uh, Darkus, you don't need to uh, only give them like, you know. Wizards of the Coast licensed D and D magical item what stuff. You, you can you can what give you them that? whatever. Like for instance, one of the things that was um, uh, uh, given to our players here in this campaign was a um, a potion that yeah. made um, uh, made a character uh, be loved by the rest of the party for a short time. There was also a redemption for a magical mushroom that made somebody grow really (gasps) tall. And a bunch of the people found these mushrooms and started just shoving them in their faces. And then all of a sudden we've got like (laughs) 20 foot tall uh, players running around. Holly Harris And and, 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 freaked out because he thought that he shrunk. Uh huh. Ger-, Ger thought True. that he shrunk, and and oh, uh, right. if I remember for correctly, Quentin only ate a little bit, so it was just his hands. It was oh, just yeah, his yeah. hands that turned he big. I, I, I put I, a bunch into a potion bottle, and then I like died when I drank uh, it. Later. Uh, no, I no, 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 no. I was the one that put all the various fungi and mis- mystery berries in that bottle of liquor, and then you oh, stole yeah, I it. Oh yeah, stole it. I did steal it. Yeah. Hey, so good. Go get it. It was going to be so yours that, eventually. You didn't let me put enough vegetables in there. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a maceration you're, you're of the more the more unique you get with it, the cooler of a concept what you try to spawn in, the quicker I'm going to get that shit in there. I'm just going to let you know the True. like it's it's just it's just the way it works. But I'm really glad to see that a couple of uh, a couple people pop in that are new. Darkus, <laughs> Hannah, uh, thank yeah. you so much for joining us. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, uh, please hit that follow button and and. We do uh fifth edition every Wednesday. We do Star Wars uh on Thursdays and alternating on that uh Thursdays we'll be doing aliens uh, as soon as we get the rest of my set pieces in because we do it with uh miniatures on uh, uh for the aliens campaign. Mm-hmm. And so, then so. Mondays we do um Star Trek as well. So we 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 stream um uh all throughout the week. Um, so like I said, Monday, Star Trek, Wednesday, uh, D and D Thursday, Woo! every other week, it's either Star Wars or aliens. Um, and memory serves, we got Star Wars coming tomorrow. Star Wars is tomorrow. Yep. I'm so excited. Um, come join, uh, me, Doran Vorald as the only Jedi, as we go to try to fight the evil Sith that is mucking about on guy. the planet. And don't think he didn't pick that last name from purpose. I picked it for difficulty. So um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our raid. We're going to raid somebody in the community. We like to go ahead and raid um, some of the... We're trying to bolster this small streamer stuff. We don't... Look, we all saw, we all saw the spreadsheet. We all know how much Critical Role made <laughs> in three years. We get it. They got a big piece of the pie. We want to try to grow the small piece of the pie down here. The crumbs that Critical Role has allowed to fall through the cracks for us. We want everybody to have a piece of that. So um, stick around for the raid. Uh, Remember that when we raid, you are not just representing yourselves. You are representing us, all of us, the community, the lords and ladies of fate. So don't be a dick. 
be obnoxious in a fun way. Be fun noxious, as I like to say. <laughs> what the hell is that sound? It's a goddamn like. Good Dream <laughs> Devil's fucking lightsaber sounds like a vibrator, bro. Like, just like, yeah, that was pretty a lot. You got a friend. Don't judge him in his toys. Sorry. Um, I can't comment because of all the squirty <laughs> cream stuff earlier. But, the squirty you know. cream destroyed it. Um, squirty cream. No, no, squirty cream. Anyway. No, no. <laughs> So, um, uh, remember, remember, uh, you represent us and yourselves. Be cool. Uh, spam those emotes. If you got them, if you've got the Lords and Ladies of Fate emotes, spam them. We got the raid emote, make them see what they're missing. And we're going to close this uh, episode of Adenia out the same way we close out every Wednesday with that patented Adenia catchphrase that is definitely the same every single week. And it is definitely not something different. And it's definitely not six people screaming different things into the microphone. It is 100% uh, organic. So uh, everybody on the count of three, go ahead and say that catchphrase. One, two, three. Zoss like sauce. Oh, you got a friend in me when the road.